Okay, I use this diagram to help me. It's got the equation in, in the non complete square form. Find the center and radius, I'm going to put it into complete square form. So I take this, I'm going to rewrite it a little bit differently to start with. Undo the x's first. So x squared minus 8x plus y squared minus 6y minus 20 equals 0. Now I'm going to complete the square, so that'll be x minus 4 squared. And that will also give me, that will also give me a plus 16. It'll give me the x squared and the minus 8x. And I'm going to have plus y minus 3 squared. And that will also give me a plus 9. So what if I get that will give me a plus 25. I don't want it to be plus 25. I want it to be minus 20. So I'm going to have to take away 45. And that equals 0. And now I can get it in complete square form. x minus 4 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 45. And therefore, center is 4, 3, and radius is square root of 45. So it does first bit, so I put that bit in there. That's 4, 3. Done the first bit. It crosses the positive x-axis at the point A. Find the equation of the tangent to a circle at A. So I want the equation of that. I know it's going to be y equals mx plus c. And I've got to find out what the coordinates of A. So I'm going to draw the tangent in here. The not tangent, the radius in there. And I can see that that is 3. We know that that length is square root of 45. I need to find out what this bit is here of coordinates. I could take my thing here and put y equals 0 into there to work out what x is. But I'm going to use the radius because I know that this bit here, if I call that x, the bit I have to work out, I know that x squared plus 3 squared must equal root 45 squared from Pythagoras. So I'm going to get um, that's, yeah, x squared plus 3 squared equals root 45 squared, so that's 45. So x squared, that's 9, equals 36. So x equals 6. So this bit here, x, which equals 6. So a, it's got, instead of being 4 across, it's now going to be 10 across. It's going to be 10, 0. So now I can work out what we got. So gradient of what we got, let's call that O in the center, of, of O A equals minus 3 over 6, which equals minus a half. Therefore, gradient of tangent will equal negative the reciprocal of that will be 2. So I get y equals 2x plus c. I need to find c by subbing any point on that line, obviously 10, 0. And I always like putting an x and a y under there. So the x is 10 and the y is 0. So that means 0 equals 20 plus c. So c equals minus 20. And so my equation is y equals 2x minus 20. And that's done the equation of that. A second tangent to circle, I'm going to do some red. Second tangent to circle is parallel to the tangent at A. So we're parallel to this line here, so it's going to be the one up here. And that obviously is going to be going back there. And it's going to go across 6, and it's going to go up 3 more. And so therefore it's going to be 6 across, so that will be minus 2. And it won't just be 3 up now, it'll be 6 up. And so we'll have y equals 2x plus c and we'll sub in that point on there minus 2 6 as always x and y y is a 6 so 6 equals 2 times negative 2 plus c that's negative 4 so c will equal uh, 10 so we get y equals 2x plus 10 for part three, 
got three per already down there. And the last one I'm going to do in green. Another circle, a center of O. It lies wholly inside the first circle, so it's going to be something like that. And find the set of possible values R. So the radius here is R, so it's going to be like that. Well, it can't be too big because this whole distance here is root 45. And so um, R plus this bit, how long is that bit there? Well, that's going to be that's 3, 4 plus square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared has got to be less than root 45. That's 5. So R will be less than root 45 minus 5. And that's got it. Otherwise, it will just touch the circle. And that is part 4 done and the whole of question 10 done.